Hey everybody, PKFT1 here, and today I'm with Blur once again. And today we were going to talk about specifically, uh, well, I thought it would be fun to focus on the 25th anniversary for Persona, which is coming up. Um, and that will be at the beginning of next year. I'm sure there's going to be some sort of event. They've been really talking about Persona having, you know, it's it's next big thing I think is going to be shown in 2021. Now, keep in mind what we're about to talk about. Uh, I think we're going to focus on what we think could be announced in 2021. Um, it's probably a little bit early for us to be discussing this, but nonetheless, let me ask you, Blur, what are some things or what is like one thing that you think you like genuinely would not be surprised if it were to happen in uh, 2021 in terms of an announcement? Uh, the Western release of Scramble. I wouldn't be surprised about that. I if they don't announce it before then. Right. I saw something today that was like, somebody had brought up the fact that it's been like, I think 600 days or so since we got the original announcement for Scramble, mm -hmm. which is kind of mind blowing. So what yeah. would that be? I mean, it's, we're almost coming up on not quite two years until it's original reveal i guess i guess well we're a little ways away from two years from more yeah, like a it came year and out a half in, was it did it come out in i'm gonna be it came out in february right in japan i believe so yes okay but i could also see the reason why we haven't gone in is just because of the pandemic wait did it come out in japan before royal no it came out um yeah well it came out before royal for us because they got Royal on Halloween. Oh, that's right. So it came out after Royal then. Okay. That makes sense. So if, if Royal came out around Halloween for them, then we definitely should have gotten a Western release date by now. I saw, I saw a thing. I don't know how much... I didn't read into it, but I saw kind of like a news clip. I don't know if mm -hmm. it was like a video game like um news site that was mm -hmm. covering it but someone said that they saw something about scramble like they dug something up or they just saw it on uh i think it was on the playstation store for like oh, a different country i think i know what you're talking about so people i think figured out that that simply had to do with like the like the Hong Kong release or something. Okay. So I think a lot, or maybe it wasn't the Hong Kong release. It was, it was definitely, I think for other Asian territories. Um, mm -hmm. But a lot of people wrote that off as not really being anything, at least in terms of a Western release date. Okay. I didn't really look into it, but I kind of saw something about it yesterday. So, okay. So that wasn't really anything. Right, unfortunately. Um, however, uh, I don't think that we're too far off from something. I mean, uh, my my question is, when they announce it for the West, it's obviously going to be an announcement by Atlas West. So if they do announce it, I think it will probably happen in 2021, but I don't think it would necessarily be at... Like, if Atlas was to do one of their big concerts, which they probably won't, it'll probably be some sort of digital event, if I had to guess, um, mm -hmm. that they wouldn't announce it there. It would be its own announcement. Who knows? Maybe even it would just be a Twitter drop, or they might do something like, tune in for a special announcement from Atlas West. I don't know. Who knows what they would do? I guess they could drop it in a direct or something. Uh, that's, I guess, a possibility, but I don't think Persona has ever been, 
Has Persona ever been in a Nintendo Direct, like Persona Q or Q2? Um, you know, I don't remember. It may have, and I just don't remember. I think. Because I don't. I think remember... one of their games might have been like in it, like shortly. Right. I don't think but it's don't ever think been revealed like a in a direct, game. though. I think the reveals have always been at, um, as far as I know, reveals have always been at Persona events. Yeah. I think the only Persona announcement, at least in the past, you know, six or so years, has been the P4 Golden Steam announcement. That that was the only thing I can think of that wasn't at a Persona event. Or, I guess, technically Joker in Smash, if you count that. But that's its own thing, so. Um, but that being said, I guess technically P4 Golden was the most recent announcement um but that wasn't like an atlas west thing that was just a plain old atlas thing as far as i know um yeah so i apologize if like my audio is off too guys i'm monitoring it i don't know what's going on with my mic it's like recording at a really high uh level right now something is up with the gain so I'll, I'll turn it down and post but anyhow uh so i wanted to also talk about the 25th anniversary specifically because i think there's a lot of exciting things that could be there so we've kind of talked about scramble coming nobody knows when it's coming nobody knows where it is in production i'm sure they have started some form of production maybe the localization team has been working on it from home maybe they haven't done it because they wanted to record the voices in the studio rather than from home um uh -huh. i could definitely see that being the big hold up right now uh especially i don't know where atlas west like where they record um so I, I'm I'm not the best person to ask about that. But in terms of what Atlas is working on, we know for a fact that they've been kind of hyping up 2021 um, behind the scenes a little bit. I think they did a, maybe it was an interview last year around Christmas where they were talking mm -hmm. about 2021 being the next big year for Persona, which makes sense. Uh, Persona 1 came out in 1996, so 25 years later. Um, you know, we just had our big Mario anniversary. I think the last big anniversary for Persona was the 20th. Um, and I wanted to talk about this because I think there's probably, I, I think it's safe to say there's multiple projects in the works. Um, I can't think of the last time they didn't have at least more than one announcement to talk about at one of their concerts. Because if we go back, so back in 2019, we had... Persona 5 Scramble and Persona 5 Royal announced. If you go back two years before that, um, I guess, yeah, 2016, I, I guess that's when it was unveiled. Um, or no, 2017. I, I take that back. Yeah, 2017, they announced the P3D and P5D, um, which you could argue aren't the biggest announcements, but it was two. It was still two separate announcements, and P3D I think was the one that really surprised people. And then before that, I think was in twenty. I don't actually know what was before that. I know there was an event before that where they did a digital event. I don't know if it was a concert, but they did a digital event where they announced all of these games, which was they announced Persona Q, and then they announced uh, Arena Ultimax, and then they announced Persona 4 Dancing, and then they announced Persona 5, and that was in all one event. They announced four separate titles. That's crazy. Well, we also have to think that they already announced... They already did the two dancing games. Right. Um, Persona 5 and Persona 3. Mm -hmm. uh, they did Scramble, which is kind of new. They did right. Persona Q2. Mm -hmm. um, I know people have been saying that there may be an arena game, so right. maybe... That's a possibility that could be there. And I know they still have a few more titles, I think, for Persona 5 left to still announce. 
whatever those are, I have no idea what those could be. Yeah, I mean, it's all speculation at this point. I think the next big one would absolutely be Arena. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think Arena makes a lot of sense right now. I mean, it's been a long time. What was it, 2013, 14? I think it was 2014 when Ultimax came out, I want to say. Um, Probably sounds about right. Maybe it was 15, sometime around then. Um, and we haven't heard anything about Arena. We, there's been tons of rumors. Koei Tecmo, or not Koei Tecmo, sorry. Arc System Works director, I think, mentioned saving some stuff for a potential future Persona title. Um, and it just seems like a really obvious bet. So I think the safest bet right now is a Persona Arena game. They just finished, you know, with Grand Blue. They're working on Guilty Gear. Uh, I don't know if they're still doing stuff for Cross Tag Battle or not. But it makes sense that the next title would be a Persona uh, game. So Arena, the question is, is it going to be another pixel-based fighter or is it going to be in the style of kind of art system works new modern aesthetic of guilty gear and uh blaze blue and uh, uh grand blue as well as dragon ball fighters having that really cool 3d anime uh aesthetic um i think that would work really well for persona 5 um, that would be pretty cool i think a lot of people would think that was cool to me it would be infinitely more exciting to see that style um especially since like i mean you got to think of persona 5 don't get me wrong uh it has it has a really cool style but it isn't it's not quite as um convincingly anime like you know it's a very obvious 3d environment the character models aren't necessarily the highest quality especially since it was a persona 3 game it still looks fine but when you look at arc system works games and you see especially like when you look at something like dragon ball and they look straight, it's almost hard to tell that it's even a 3D image you're looking at. It looks just like, you know, anime. And they do a lot of cool things with messing with uh, how they move and the frame rates and to create these really 2D looking images. But then when the camera pans around, you see that it's all in 3D. So I think Persona 5 could have a really cool, unique look to it in the Arc System Works engine whatever engine that is that they use. Maybe it's Unreal. I don't remember. But regardless, um, their style is, I think, would work perfect for it. And plus, I think the characters would be really cool individual fighters with their costumes. Um, do you think that Persona 5 Arena is going to be like a direct sequel to P4 Arena? Do you think they bring in Persona 4 and 3 characters? I think it's a possibility. I mean, most fighter games have, like, multiple characters. Or it could kind of be, like, starting out initially, watch it be, like, um... I guess, like, the cross-battle game, mm -hmm. Blaze Blue. Sure. Where it's, like, they had they had a roster, and there's a story mode, and then they add other characters as a DLC later on. Yeah. I could see them also doing Oh, that would be so cool to have like um, a really big hype cycle of DLC for a Persona fighting game. Like if it caught on enough that it had mm. a few seasons, um, that could be really cool because you could you could bring back, you know, characters from other games. and Everybody would be like, oh, who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Who are they going to bring from? And then they throw in like at the very end, watch them throw in like a Persona 2 or a Persona 1 character. <laughs> That would be so crazy. That would never happen, but it would be cool. But uh, if they started off with just like Persona 5 characters and then slowly started introducing characters from other games, because the thing that would be exciting to me about that, and maybe we can talk about this more in depth in another video, is in Persona 4 Arena, of course, we got the older versions of the P3 cast, right? And we kind of mm -hmm. saw who they turned into and kind of what they did and, you know, their slightly updated looks. I would love to see that with the Persona 4 cast. Oh, 
I would love that. It'd be kind of cool. Mm-hmm. My only concern is if Kanji comes back, does he have his black hair and glasses? I would think yes, because that's kind of how they ended it with right. him. That he was going to not try to pull the punk look anymore. Mm -hmm. But who knows? They could completely backtrack. Right. It's it's really hard to tell just because of how iconic his, you know, look is and to throw that. Like, it, it was one thing at the end because I think it was supposed to, like, throw you for a loop. But seeing him come back and return in that style would be really bizarre. Um, or they'd try to think of it as some kind of joke. Kind of like what they did with some of the P3 characters. Like, some of them were in really dumb outfits for, like, a reason. Like, uh, Yukari was in, like, the... Featherman outfit. Right, she was the pink Featherman. Um, yeah, that's true. And of course, you had uh, uh, Mitsuru as as I can't even remember the the Mitsuru organization or not Mitsuru the the <laughs> you know the organization she's part of. Yeah, the Shadow Ops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm not very good with with arena lore. <laughs> In fact, I'm really bad with arena lore. I actually don't really know that much. Um, but it would be interesting to see, uh, 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 I almost said a catchy, uh, Chie, <laughs> uh, she, I assume she'd be in like a cop uniform or something. Um, mm -hmm. She could be really cool. Uh, I'd be very curious to see what Yosuke I would be like. still be at Juness and he just comes in and is like workout. <laughs> that would be awesome. He fights <laughs> with like a broom or something. <laughs> Teddy would also be interesting, but I can't imagine he'd change that much. Um, yeah, I have a feeling he would still just be Teddy. Right. Like, he'd still just probably be in the bear outfit. Right. Um, but they might show, like, what he'd look like human-wise. He'd probably have a different outfit or something. Honestly, I would love an older Nanako, kind of like they do with Ken. Oh, that'd be interesting. Like, obviously, Nanako is never a party member, so I don't know if she'd even, you know, have a chance... Because, like, I guess, I mean, the Velvet Room attendants make sense. You know, the fact that they made them playable, it at least kind of made sense. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if Nanako... Oh, she'd be so cool, though, to get an older version of Nanako if she had, like... I don't know, you could come up with some reasoning, but a lot of people would probably also hate it. So <laughs> I, I really don't know. But, geez, I'd love an older version of Nanako. Um probably getting off track here as we talk about 2021 but those are just some fun ideas of arena and i think we'll probably come back to this especially if we get an announcement for it because i honestly think i would almost if it's a really cool like look to it which i think it will be there's no doubt in my mind that a persona 5 arena is probably going to happen and b that it's probably going to look awesome and everybody's going to be talking about it i think it'll also probably because personas jumped astronomically in popularity since persona 4 ultimax came out and it was still it had its fans don't get me wrong um but i think persona 5 arena when that gets unveiled especially with the new updated arc system works look I think it'll mm -hmm. just be a huge deal when it gets announced. Even people in like the fight, like the FGC, will probably take a good look at it. And I think it'll only do a lot of good for the series, assuming the game, you know, isn't completely compromised, which I don't think it will be. There's no reason to think that. So, anyhow, yeah. I think that'll be a big deal when it gets announced. And it could probably stand on its own. But I really. Here's my thing. We got to think about Atlas. So Atlas is in an interesting situation. So, well, I should say P Studio. Um, so P Studio, aside from Royal, they've obviously like worked on these other games, and they'd be working on Arena, and they'd be working on, uh, they worked on Scramble, but they weren't like the active developers. Of those yeah, games. I think they were kind of like gave guidance, and I think what I heard is they helped a lot more with the story aspect than they did with like mm -hmm. game mechanics. Right. I, I mean, they might have helped with some like art stuff. Right. Though. I'm sure that I'm they. I'm pretty sure did. they definitely were like, "This is how 
the dungeon should probably at least feel or mm -hmm. they just approved of concepts right i yeah i bet that they had a lot of involvement with like kind of how the ui would look character model looks kind of what the aesthetic would be of places you know different types of particle effects and things just so it's consistent so I, I feel like they definitely had like a mentor role probably in that, but I'm sure Koei Tecmo was doing a lot of the legwork. As far as I know, I could be wrong on that, but from what I understand, that was kind of the relationship. So you've got to think, if they'd been working on Royal, and Royal, while it was a pretty meaty expansion to Persona 5, they would have to, I would imagine... Atlas has had something else in the oven for quite a while now for the past few years that has kind of been in the background. Sorry, I keep saying Atlas. Peace Studio. Because Atlas has plenty that's been in the oven with SMT5 and everything else. I guess, well, we also got to keep in mind that Atlas um, and I believe Peace Studio actually were the ones who did the port for Golden. It wasn't... They didn't, like, outsource it to somebody else. I think it was an internal uh, job that they did. So I guess they were working on Persona 4 Golden as well. But there hasn't been, like, a full-on game, aside from the dancing games, that Peace Studio, I think, has, has been developing, like, in terms of, like, a full-on RPG. So I really do think that there's two options. And I'm hesitant to go into one because I want to make a whole separate video about this. But to me, it seems like either A, Atlas's next big thing they announce, or P Studio's big thing is Persona 6, or maybe, and this is all speculation, maybe because it's been asked for so much, a, a Persona 3 remake. So... Yeah, that's kind of what I see. Do we think they'd either go the remake route, or do you think they just want to go straight into Persona 6? Well, I think, as much as I hate to say it, I think, and I don't want to say hate to say it, because I'm actually excited about it, is, is I think Persona 6 makes the most sense to me in my head, because I'm pretty sure they've talked about working on numbered entries like vaguely in a in some sort of article or something um and also it seems silly that they wouldn't be working on it right now it could be a persona 3 remake but you've got to keep in mind that if they are working on a persona 3 remake that is not a small job it's if it's yeah. a remaster like just uh something maybe like uh, they, they did with golden I did Sorry, say ahead. that um, Persona 4 Golden being on Steam was kind of like a test. Mm -hmm. And then they were really happy with the results. So I could see them just honestly porting Persona 3 to Steam too. Right. I don't necessarily think that kills the idea of them doing a remake of Persona 3. However, I think it definitely does maybe put at least a nail in <laughs> its casket of yeah, if it'll it actually just puts happen. it on like the back burner. It's like, okay, well now they have a port so we right. can wait a while while we work on like Persona 6 or something before we do a remake. But they, I think they, I think they're aware that a lot of people have asked for like a remake of Persona 3 specifically. Right. I think, cause here's the thing about Persona 3 remake is you've got to keep in mind that it would be a full-on remake. That's not just, you know, there's not a lot that they have to work with that they can salvage from, uh, other than maybe if they did it in the Persona 5 engine, um, I guess they could maybe do that and use the engine. Probably but have then, the voice actors come back and redo all their right, lines. Right, you would have to have them redo all their lines. You would have to recreate all these areas. You'd have to recreate social links, and you'd have to... Obviously, they're going to add new stuff. I'm, I highly doubt they would do a one-to-one -one remake without introducing all sorts of new stuff. So oh, yeah, probably they'd have, have to, to add, like, if you... I don't know if they would do, like... So I guess the question is, would they do a remake of just base Persona 3? 
or Persona 3 Portable, or FES are like a weird combination of all of them. Right. But even if they did, they would have to make like full social links, like not just with the girls or yeah. just with the guys. They'd have to do like mm-hmm. both, like Golden and uh, Persona 5 do. Right, exactly. And I think there'd be a lot of reworking the story in that way too. Because if you give social links to all the guys that are obviously non-romantic social links, um, or I guess can be non-romantic. I guess if you wanted to make them romantic, you could. But the base like social link, um, you'd have to integrate that into the game and perhaps even the story, which I don't necessarily think is a bad thing. I think there's a lot of room to work with that you could not necessarily like change the story, but like your day-to-day type stuff with some of the social links that are in persona three i think you should keep all those characters but maybe you could emphasize you know party members um and their social links kind of like they do in p5 um but anyhow i don't want to get into discussing the all the ins and outs i think the point is persona 3 remake would basically be a full-on game and it would probably delay persona 6 for another who knows how long three to four years i mean it's been can you believe it'll have been five years i think since persona 5 came out by next october's because i think yeah i think we're at about the four year anniversary now of persona 5 so next year it'll have been five years by october yeah i think they'd want to do persona 6 instead Right. So to me, it's like, well, if it's been about five years, I think we're due. It makes the most sense to me as as much as I would kill for a Persona 3 remake announcement. That would be like my number one most hyped thing. Um, Not that I feel that we need it. It's just something I think would be cool and fun. But I think Persona 6 makes the most sense. And a lot of people are saying it's too early for Persona 6. It's too early for Persona 6. I don't think it is. I think We get an announcement. I don't think we get anything much beyond an announcement, but we get an announcement. You just get the teaser. Right, you get a teaser. Like they just Persona 5 where they just showed the chairs. Yeah, exactly. It's the same deal as then. Um, We probably get to learn the color. I would hazard a guess that Atlas... I don't know. Atlas feels very different today than they did just six years ago when they unveiled Persona 5. So I almost feel like if they were to do a teaser, it would almost be more like on lines of what they did with Scramble, where you just kind of like, okay, like, all right, we get a little bit of an idea. Maybe you see a picture of the protagonist, who knows? Uh, Maybe just something to give us an idea of what the themes are. Um, Mm -hmm. I guess it could still just be a still image like they did with Persona 5, but... uh, I would hope it's maybe something a little more. I'm not asking for like a full on trailer or even gameplay. Also, oh, wasn't it something. like eight years between Persona 4 Golden and Persona 5? Um, no. So it, I think it was between between base Persona 4 and Persona 5 was eight years, but okay, between Golden and 5 was four years. So I guess if we're going off of that timeline, that doesn't set well with my theory that we're getting an announcement because we only got like, Royal. Persona 5 has jumped, you know, in like just gaining attention uh-huh. and people. And it's still currently the top most like positively reviewed game. Right. It's like higher than Final Fantasy 7. Which mm-hmm. is amazing, actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I think that would kind of make them maybe figure out a plan and probably get a game out faster. Not necessarily meaning that they're going to cut corners, but I think they probably would have maybe have tried to hire some more people or at least mm-hmm. tried to, like, you know, at least be set out like a plan. Mm-hmm. I don't think they'd wait as long. I think they know that it's like, okay, we have more people. We still like, you know, try to get another game out, gain more interest while we're popular. Right. Because that's like, honestly, 
like that's just business you're a business and you're trying to make money that just seems like the smart decision to do i agree i think like um well there's a lot of weird things that people have been like looking into so first of all i think persona 6 makes sense to me i i so look back at persona 3 and persona 4 there was only two years between the release of those games they used the same engine but they were both full-on games with full voice acting you know persona 4 had a lot of improvements from persona 3 and i think also the same year fess came out uh yeah i believe the same year that fess came out was the same year persona 4 came out i could be wrong on that actually fess may have come out in 07 i take that back and then I think the very next year, Persona 4 came out. So they were really quick in development with those. So we might be on a train that's somewhere in between the development time of Persona 3 and 4 and the development time between Persona 4 and 5, which would put us at about four years. So yeah. I think it makes sense, not necessarily that we'll get it in that time, but we'll get an announcement in that time. Because... Or something whether it's a remake or the next game i feel like we'll at least hear something mm -hmm. if not by the end of like well definitely not the end of this year i don't think we'll get an announcement if we do i'll be surprised but i don't mm -hmm. think we'll get an announcement um but maybe next year we might hear something right so that throws into the air. I mean, it's the 25th anniversary. Will they do something big or will the big announcement be Persona 6? I think that would be enough for people to get excited. I think that in like Persona 5 Arena makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. um, as if they do it like they did last time where one night they do one announcement, the next night they do the other. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, that would be enough for me to get hyped. That's all I would need. I mean, I only really need one of those games to get hyped. And if they were to do more than that, it would be even crazier. So we've also got to keep in mind that there has been a shift in terms of development. Somebody found a listing online, I believe for P Studio, where they were looking for people with um, Unreal Engine experience, people who could work huh. in Unreal Engine, which means- Are thinking they're changing engines? Right, so that would indicate that they're moving from their proprietary engine, which they created for Persona 5, and that they're moving to Unreal Engine, which is interesting because we know that SMT5 is on Unreal Engine as well. So perhaps, what's that? I mean, you just have to think about the new generation of consoles is coming out. Maybe their engine just would not work with the consoles or it wouldn't look as good or something like that. Right. It was an engine developed for per Persona, for PlayStation 3 originally. So it is, I think, outdated in that aspect. There were obviously some updates for P4, or sorry, I'm, I'm getting all my games mixed up. For P5 Royal, there were a lot of improvements visually. Um, be them minor or, or major, depending on how you look at it. So I think, yeah, I think you're right. I think it makes sense that they could jump to Unreal for next gen. Um, I really hope that whatever game they are making does come to PS4 as well, so they don't leave a bunch of people behind because I don't intend on buying a PS5 anytime soon. I don't know how many of you guys do. Yeah. Some people are willing to buy it day one. I don't think I've ever bought a I console just day one. I don't think I have the funds at the moment. <laughs> no, we're we're both poor. So there's no way until those things go down in price that we're going to even, even the be PS4 thinking about still getting them. Down in price. Yeah, I mean, it's gone down a little bit in price over the years. Last I checked, well, what is it? Maybe, is it $2.99 now? Maybe? No, that's like the Switch. Still three ninety nine. I don't even know three forty nine maybe. So if it goes down about a hundred, maybe I would I would afford it. But regardless, so I think that opens up a lot of opportunities for um, how quick games could come out in the future. Because a lot of people talk about the ease of working with Unreal. We've seen it with Final Fantasy VII that was developed on Unreal, and uh, it came out way faster than. 
I think it would have if they were still using the Luminous engine, which is infamous for the delay of Final Fantasy XV, along with, obviously, Nomura being on the project. But Kingdom Hearts 3 did the same thing, where they switched to Unreal, and it was like, once they made that switch, like, it took a while to get to that point in development of those games to switch to Unreal, but once they did, it was a pretty steady... It was pretty steady progress from there and then within i don't know two two and a half years of switching to that the game came out so if they are currently working in unreal engine uh it might not be as far away as we think it is but also it would take time because you also have to think it's like would a lot of stuff that they may have made be able to be transferred over or will they just have to make everything from scratch again? I imagine they would probably have to make everything from scratch. I mean, there might be tricks and stuff. I don't know. They might know the process of doing all the cell shading stuff already. I don't know how that works, honestly. But I would imagine since it's a new engine, they would basically have to recreate everything from scratch. But I, I'm pretty sure that the tools in, in Unreal are, are pretty simple for experienced developers to figure out and learn so um i don't think it would be that bad for them in all honesty uh it seems like that's usually something that speeds up development for people um i know atlas had a history of like originally when they were going to make persona 5 they made catherine as a test for what persona 5 would look like and mm -hmm. they had i forget what the engine they used for that was but they ended up not even using that engine, but they used the same style for Persona 5 because they used a different engine for Catherine and then they built their own proprietary engine for um, Persona. I think people call it just the P engine. Um, and it sounds like they're already moving away from that. So maybe you have a project being done in P engine and then maybe you have a project being done in Unreal. That's also a possibility. Maybe whatever they're making in Unreal is either the new Persona or maybe what they're making in Unreal is a different game entirely. So I think that is a segue into what are the other projects that could possibly be on the books? If it's not these things, what in the world do you think? Because it would have to be new stuff, right? Because I think... We've already gotten in our P our PQ game. We would have gotten in our uh, uh, we we already did Persona Five Scramble, which was a new you know spin off style of spin off. We already have done our dancing games. So what is in terms of spin offs? What else is there to even do with the Persona IP? Persona Five Mario Party. Ooh, I didn't even think about that Persona Party. <laughs> I don't know what you would do with that. I was just having to think of something silly. Or Persona 5 cooking. You just, you, just, you just make food for customers and uh, LeBlanc. I would love something like WarioWare, but it's Persona. And it's just a bunch of dumb mini games. <laughs> and it's like between the three Persona games and it's just like uh make the coffee and you have to like put the ingredients together really quick before time runs out or you have to pet like what's that pet the cat is that pet what you the said? Cat from, like, persona 4 pet the cat yeah uh yeah you could do all sorts of stuff that would be really funny i'm in the persona yeah unfortunately that'll probably never happen but that would actually be a super fun spin-off just like a dumb game like that <laughs> People have talked about Persona 5 Racing. I actually don't think it's that far off. I think something like that, while I don't think it would happen... I could see us racing in the Morgana bus. Right. But I think it makes way... I, I really want them to do a new Sega All-Stars Racing. And have the Morgana bus. Right. Because, like, I was so disappointed when Team Sonic Racing was announced because I thought, oh, it'll be, like, Sega, All you know, All-Stars Racing. But it wasn't because it was only Sonic. And yeah. If they... And Sorry, go ahead. Sonic Team Racing did not do as well as All-Stars Racing because they kind of took out a lot of the mechanics and made All-Stars Racing fun. Yeah, it just felt like a scaled down, stripped down version of it. And it was dumb. And like, think if you had Joker and like 
Kiryu driving like his taxi from Yakuza 5. <laughs> that would be amazing. Those would be fun additions. Those would be hilarious. I would pick up that game day one if they put in character, you know, Persona and Yakuza. Seriously, that would be amazing. And I feel just like make, just make a Persona Yakuza crossover game. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that would be amazing. I mean, they've already referenced each other so many times. So they and they're they're so similar uh in in just terms of just like you get to walk, run around the city and you kind of get to experience some semblance of <laughs> japanese culture i guess but uh regardless i think while we may not get a persona racing game i wouldn't be surprised if joker appears in a racing game of some sort um like a oh, Sega. Yeah, I wouldn't be if he eventually appeared in a racing game they've already put him in so many other things like a bunch of mobile games actually mostly right. mobile games. but if he appeared in actual like other games like whether just like oh it's a costume or something or reference it somehow i wouldn't be surprised yeah they seem to lend out the ip to so many things at this point so I mean, that's what Sega does with Sonic, so it doesn't right. surprise me that Atlas is doing it with Persona yeah. 5. Um, so I, I, think, I think that's a possibility. We know the director, I think, of Scramble talked about wanting to do some sort of follow-up or sequel. Uh, oh, Scramble? Yeah, he mentioned it. He just said it would be interesting, I think, to explore it again. It was a very vague... He didn't necessarily say definitively he wanted to do a sequel, I don't think. But he talked about how he would be interested in doing more or they were pleased with the sales and so they'd be interested in continuing and I don't know. So again, I don't know how Scramble goes, so I don't know what you do or maybe they're like, well, we'll just apply Scramble to a different Persona game. Who knows? That's like, that's the other thing is they could they announce... They could make a full-on action Persona game. Maybe they're using Scramble to test stuff out right oh man can you imagine if persona 6 is real-time action that would be bizarre i don't know how i'd feel i think i'd be a little upset because <laughs> i mean that would be like final fantasy they've since i don't know what since 13 uh they've started they've gone on this path of doing real-time action so mm -hmm. i would i don't know like the turn base of persona is so great i i have and it's such a part of the smt identity not that persona really you know is is associated with smt anymore but like that's what makes persona great i think is that combat system i think especially since you're on a roll now it's like don't change it please like unless you're doing I mean, a spin-off you know, spin right yeah. as a spin-off that's fine i think mainline if it's not turn based, I'll be really upset. I mean, I don't know how I don't know how much water the like those polls they put out, the survey stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ones well, that Sega they does. They always ask, it's like, would you be interested in a action game? Right. Or and I assume that's what Persona Five Scramble kinda ended up being was their attempt at an action mm -hmm. game. It's more, I guess it's more of a Muso, but it's still a form of action game. Uh, so I, I think that would qualify as, as their action game. Um, but there's always the possibility of an MMO. <laughs> That's that true. would be bizarre, but I don't know if you can even make that work with Persona because Persona is so based on... I mean, it's it's if it what if it didn't have so much interaction with different elements, it could be a you know a, a, a what do they call it novel game? Uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about, like yeah. Danganronpa. What do they call those games? Visual novel. Visual novel, and Persona Three Portable practically is a visual novel, um, but like i could that's why i think an mmo in the persona universe well i guess if you really wanted to go for it you could make it work i don't know how that works because social links are so crucial and how do you play You're with other each players other social links. right yeah i guess that could be it but it's just i don't know it'd be very what weird do you, what do you 
you go? Where are you? Like, are you interested in Japan? Are you right? Different and parts of the world. Why like... are there twenty billion protagonists running around? <laughs> We're all wild cards. Maybe you're all servants of the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> servants? Everybody's become Phantom Thieves. I don't know. That would kind yeah, of be I weird. I don't know how you would make it work. I mean, there are people smarter than me who are more creative, I guess, who could probably figure that out. But I don't know how you'd go about it. Right, me neither. I think it would, it just, I don't think this game works well in that regard um okay one final thing what do you think are the chances of anything persona one or persona two happening I mean, in it's 2021 be the 25th anniversary it'd be really kind of sad if they didn't get anything even if it was just like a port yeah like if PC. they at least got a port mm -hmm. i mean those games can't be too hard to port at least yeah, because they've been before. I mean, they put them on PSP and... I don't know. Persona 2 is weird to me because, again, I've never played Persona 1 or 2 or 2-2, two, two, as I like to call it. Uh, but Innocent Sin or Eternal Punishment. Um, I, could, I could see Atlas giving it something. I could see them at least giving it a port and saving it for, like, the 25th anniversary. Right. Because I feel like they know that there are people who like it or people who are curious about it and they'll be like, here it is. Weirdly enough, they put Persona 1 on... Do you remember a while back when they released, like, the PlayStation Mini thing? It was basically, like, the NES Mini or the SNES Mini, but it was a PlayStation Mini. They yeah. put Persona 1 on that thing. So, oh. I don't know what version. I assume it was just the PS1 version, but uh, I never checked it out. I don't know if it was an updated port or what. But, um... So they have technically re-released it in the past few years. That was back in, what, 2016, 17? I don't remember. Sometime around then. But uh, maybe it's 2018. But I don't think Atlas themselves have done, like, a, a, an official re-release for a while. Because they did those weird... They had those weird re-releases that were directed by Shoji Meguro, who's the composer uh, uh -huh. for the games and he directed the re-releases of one in i guess i don't know if it was innocent sin or eternal punishment that they released on psp but they did that and then he directed them and it was basically just with like updated cut scenes and i'm sure updated dialogue um and maybe some updates to the graphics i don't even really know so it would be very interesting to see uh those get shown some love a lot of people say we shouldn't get a persona 3 remake we should get a persona 1 or 2 remake i'm like yeah that makes sense like if they announce that that would be cool too uh yeah i, I wouldn't be against that either because here's Cause the thing I never is... played them, so i'm like oh well i'd be interested but then again the same thing with persona 3 they'd have to like remake everything mm -hmm. my other question is would fans of persona 1 and 2 be happy or angry that they'd be remaking them because i, I could see would, I'm always, i think you would be happy i'm not a persona one or two fan so i guess i can't speak for them but i mean i would think like you know they are pretty old games so i don't think you should be like disappointed unless they like completely changed the right. story because here's the thing is we and know if if the style like we know for a fact that they would have a new artist, whether it's um, Sojima or somebody else that they have do the designs for Persona 1 and 2, because they're already a different style. Because um, uh, we know Kaneko or Kaneko or however you say his name. At, I know he did Persona 1. I think he did Persona 2, but I could be wrong on that in terms of in, in, like their art. So if they were to bring on Sojima... I don't know if people would be excited or upset. Um, I don't know. I could see them being like, you've defiled our original game. I don't know. But people are going to feel that way about Persona 3 if it gets remade. So, And that would be basically the same people working on it probably. Except for maybe Hashino. But 
regardless, I think it's going to be an interesting situation. Mm -hmm. If you could have anything show up in 2021, what would you have it be? Uh... I think Persona 6 would be cool. But I'm also open to everything else, so I don't know. Yeah, I understand that. I think, yeah, to me, it's like, honestly, I think the th three things that make the most sense to me would be Arena, Persona 6, and then there's maybe like a, I feel like there's like a 20% chance of a Persona 3 remake actually existing. I would like to think it's higher, but it's hard for me to convince myself that it actually does exist, despite there being a lot of hope and dreams behind it. Again, I, I want to make an entire video on that at some point. Um, so don't get don't get too down in the uh, down in the dirt about it. But um, I I think that Persona Six makes a lot of sense, and I think. Just seeing Persona 5 Arena would be enough for me at this point. Because we still gotta get Scramble. Like, where is that game? But if it's anything to go off of... We could be getting simultaneous releases, worldwide releases, since SMT5 is supposed to be a worldwide release. Yeah, and I heard that they were actually gonna try... Uh, I think... Or I might be... I think I'm thinking of Yakuza. Yakuza was gonna try doing that. Yeah, yeah. But I could see Atlas maybe attempting that now, too, because Persona has kind of grown in popularity, but I guess we'll see. Yeah. So I think potentially 2021 could be a pretty wild year for Atlas because you could have SMT5, more information, because I think they said we won't get any information till 2021, supposedly slated for 2021 um so it could come out that would be a big deal that game will probably i'm sure smt5 will skyrocket the series in popularity um and they also have the remaster of nocturne coming to switch which is a big deal so if persona also has some big announcements in 2021 like atlas will be I, I mean, they'll be on fire, you know, if they have Persona 6 announced next year and some other project that looks really cool, like Arena. I mean, next year could be a huge year for Atlas in general. Plus, you also have to keep in mind, Project ReFantasy, where is that game? That game has to be making an appearance soon. I was hoping we'd maybe see something this year, but obviously it's not, it seems like if we're gonna ever see it, it would be next year. Um, that game has been in development hell for, I don't know how long that game got announced. What feels like an eternity ago, but I guess it really wasn't that long. It was like right after persona five came out. I think they announced it. Um, and they made their new studio. Mm -hmm. So who knows, but they should have something that their last few videos they made that came out were very bizarre. Cause it's all like live action, like models, just like, dressed up as elves in the forest like running around and stuff <laughs> it's, have you ever seen that video no i don't think i have it's really bizarre if you ever look up project refantasy it's just them talking about the vaguely the themes of the game and like what they kind of want it's like a very bare vision of what they envisioned the game to be basically a traditional fantasy type game that's different from anything else they've put out um, but that game has yet to make a reappearance. That's one of those things where it's like, they shouldn't have even announced it when they did. Cause now everybody's like, where is this stupid game? So again, it's Atlas. So who knows? It'll take an yeah. eternity, but that's also like, that could also potentially show up next year. There's a, a I, I would say a pretty strong possibility that we get, information on all those games and each of those would probably be pretty exciting in their own right so i think atlas is gonna have a pretty good year next year yeah i think i think they will no matter what they decide i think people will be pretty happy overall mm -hmm. 
Plus, we could get Scramble in the West next year, potentially. That's true. So on top of everything else, that would be pretty wild. So I, I think next year is going to be definitely a big year for anybody who's an SMT or Persona fan. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm pretty excited about it. We will see. So something to keep in mind is I believe in years past. So usually I think it's every two years they announce their big Persona event. Um, and it's usually in the form of concert, at least in recent years. And I don't know if that'll be the case this year. I'm assuming it'll be a digital event. Could still be a concert, but maybe it's just a digital concert and everybody can tune in. Um, and I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark and say, because it's tr historically been around Thanksgiving that they've announced it, I think the only reason they announced it at Thanksgiving in years past was because it was an actual in-person concert and you would have to reserve tickets and stuff if you actually wanted to go so it made sense for them to announce them way in advance but this year with coronavirus and everything going on i have a feeling that they won't announce it at thanksgiving because if they're not holding a concert there's no reason to put information out there until closer to the actual event because if it's just a digital event, you don't have to warn people in advance. So if we don't hear anything by Thanksgiving like we have in years past, I wouldn't really sweat it. Um, if we don't hear anything by mid-March, then we probably should start worrying then if we're getting anything. <laughs> but it's their, yeah. it's their anniversary. It's There's definitely something happening. Uh, P-Studio has been quiet for a while, aside from Royal. Um, so... I, there's obviously something cooking. They've been pretty good about putting something out on a regular basis. So I don't know why they would go completely silent next year. So any other thoughts before we finish this off? Um, nope. I think we're good. Yeah. So uh, if you guys are interested in more content like this, uh, we do a lot of discussions um, where we just talk about, you know, what we're thinking about. Um, but we would like to do more content that's more editorial based. Like I said, I'd really like to do something on Persona 3 Remake, um, potentially. I'd like to do stuff on a lot of the things that we've kind of touched on, theorizing on Persona 6. Sometimes we have guests on uh, our show here and we'll just talk to them from the persona community sometimes it'll probably be other games that we talk about too but if you guys are interested i don't think i've ever asked up until this point um there's you know the subscribe button don't subscribe unless you're actually interested <laughs> i know how it feels to be bombarded with uh, videos you're not interested in so uh but we appreciate everybody who has been subscribed and has been listening to this um and if you guys ever are interested in hearing about something, leave it in the comments um, and I'll make sure to get back to you. Also keep in mind, uh, we do have more content in the style of our original uh, parody summary of Persona 5 Royal coming. We've been working on a bit of uh, original uh, mini series type thing in that style with just the jokes, none of the boring narration. Yeah. We do have that in the works. We're actually almost done with one. And right. we're starting on a few more. Right. So stay tuned for more information on that. I'm hesitant to announce too much about it because it is it is going to be an episodic type thing. So I don't want to leave people hanging too long. Anyhow, I'll probably talk about that more in a future episode. Maybe next week I can just give you guys an update on kind of what we're working on. But... Um, as for now, we'll leave it there. But thank you guys so much, and we'll talk to you again uh, hopefully next week.